Jacqueline Reddington had it all. Bright and ambitious, a varsity basketball player on full scholarship, she was headed to Yale Law after graduating summa cum laude from the University of Notre Dame. I was going to take on the world. I was going to get my law degree, uh, maybe do some pro bono work at an NGO. I was going to do everything. I wanted to do everything. Then, Jacqueline's future came crumbling down with a single phone call. It all happened when I got the phone call from my mom saying that my father was in the hospital and um, and um, soon after she went into. When tangible individual manipulation of eternity, or time for short, hit shelves nationwide 20 years ago, it started a revolution. My raised me, and it was heartbreaking for me to watch as she grew older. I would wake up every morning never knowing whether she would still be there. Because she started taking time, she was able to see me walk down the aisle and to hold her first great-grandchild. Time should not be taken by anyone who is nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. Side effects may include nausea, disorientation, shortness of breath, temporary memory loss, depression, or, in rare cases, death. Time gave me an extra 10 years with my grandma. Do more. Scientists had discovered the fountain of youth, pills that could substantially prolong a natural lifespan. What they didn't account for was the price of that immortality. If you live a healthy, illness-free life, it could extend that for decades. But if you take enough of it, if you take too much as everyone else does, we're finding that while it's true that you'll live much longer, your body will not. It's, it'll still age as it would normally. Eventually, you'll reach a point where the body just can't support the continued life, and you'll have to be placed on hospital care. When Jacqueline was born, her mother was 50 years old. They're my parents. I'm, I'm doing everything I can with no, you know, with no job and with very little money. But I mean, I just, sometimes there's just nothing else you can do. There's nothing else you can do. Unfortunately for millions of Americans across the country, Jacqueline's case is hardly unique. Birth rates decreased drastically after time came out because people started putting off having children. What this means is an inverted population pyramid. We're seeing a huge elderly, elderly population requiring extensive care and only a small youthful generation to support them. This has put a strain on the health care and health insurance industries. Such a sharp and sudden increase in the number of patients requiring care has overloaded the system. In effect, time has created an unstable population model. Unable to afford a personal nurse, Jacqueline has had to drop out of Yale and now spends her days looking after her parents, who can no longer feed or wash themselves. Her big dreams have been placed on hold indefinitely. Government officials pushed the drug past FDA regulations despite inconsistent results and before side effects could be gauged properly. The submitted reports from 20 years ago state, tests for long-term effects have proved inconclusive and extraneous variables Ladies have not all been accounted for. Yeah. Stirring much of the controversy, yeah. the anti-time, old-timer movement has been picking up momentum, with activists advocating a completely drug-free lifestyle. This is not okay because lifestyle. we have one of the largest drug cartels in worldwide. It is too profitable to sell time illegally. We have corrupt politicians trying to buy voters votes with time, and this is just so unnatural and unethical. This needs to stop today. Jenkins, Mr. Jenkins, please, a moment of your time. Jenkins. Time Corporation refused to sit down for an interview. No comment, no comment. Sir, Mr. Jenkins. As investigations of Time Corporation continue over extreme price variation, dangerous side effects, and misleading marketing, the rest of us, people like Jacqueline Reddington, We'll have to answer for taking the laws of nature into our own hands. This is Eileen Chong reporting for ND News.